What's up HubSpotters? If you're tired of those repetitive tasks and manual processes, I have something special for you. In this video, we're diving into four powerful ways you can use automations to streamline your daily workflows. What can you automate exactly? Well, you can save LinkedIn profiles directly to HubSpot with a shortcut. Create the Google Sheet with all of your HubSpot data with a click. And even use artificial intelligence to create HubSpot tickets. And like almost everything in life, there are levels to the game. There are levels to your productivity as a HubSpotter. In the beginning, you might want to check out the HubSpot Chrome extension, and then you will evolve into the app marketplace and maybe even try HubSpot workflows feature. But there is a secret weapon and it's called Bardeen. It's a Chrome extension that allows you to automate your manual workflows. And all of the use cases you're going to see in this video are going to be powered by it. You can grab a link to it in the description of this video and you do not need to have HubSpot Premium to use any of the following automations. The first use case is adding information to HubSpot on the fly. So let's try to get this LinkedIn profile added directly to HubSpot. Here I have the Chrome extension installed already and the automation is called copy LinkedIn profile to HubSpot. And just like this, a new contact was created. Bardeen even discovered that person's email address. In this case, it's me and the email is accurate. Let's look on view contact, get it open in HubSpot. There we have all of the data. Another cool thing about Bardeen is that it works where you do in your browser. You can summon Bardeen with a shortcut option B, just like this. And you can do something like creating a custom HubSpot ticket. There I have the automation, create a HubSpot ticket. You give the ticket the title, check Twitter automations. In case you're doing support from Twitter, you pick the pipeline from a list of pipelines you have. I have support pipeline, ticket stage, like new. You give the task a description. Here I have some placeholder text over here. And just like this, you can create tickets on the fly without having to open HubSpot in a separate tab and filling out all of the information. Another cool thing that you can do is here you can click on remember inputs and you can remember, for example, the pipeline that you're saving the information to or the stage of the ticket. For me, I want to only fill out the description and the title. So I'm going to untick those. So these two inputs out of four are going to be remembered. I'm going to click on save and run playbook. And just like this, momentarily, a ticket was created. You can click on view to see all of the information go there directly. There we have it. And that's pretty much it. So the next time you want to create a ticket, by the way, you can collapse Bardeen as well, like this. So you have some access to the information that's visible on the page and click on create a HubSpot ticket, give it a title, another one. And uh, ticket description, a <laughs> major key. All right, uh, just like this, enter and another one has been created. And you remember I told you about using artificial intelligence for your automations? Check this out. So here we have a super long email that we want to add as a ticket to HubSpot. So here's what I can do. I'm going to open Bardeen and find the automation that's going to create a ticket from the currently open email. And here you have the open AI plugin visible. Let's click on that. Give this ticket a priority like hi, add it to a ticket pipeline, ticket stage, new. I'm going to click on remember inputs and save all of these variables. So next time I can just save it with one click, save and run this playbook. Okay. And uh, there we have it. We have a long email. Let's click on view. And what Bardeen did here is that it analyzed the body of the email and it created a short summary as a title over here, request for information on Gmail enterprise features, blah, blah, blah. And then it summarized the email itself. Again, all with one click. Right now, if I want to add another ticket to our HubSpot tickets, I'm just going to click on it once. And again, uh, watch the AI magic happen. Okay, so there we have that another ticket. So in this section, we've been talking about adding information to HubSpot. If you have HubSpot integration installed, you might want to add contacts. 
to HubSpot using the integration, but there is another way, in my opinion, a little bit more of a convenient way to add multiple contacts. So here I have the automation that's going to create contacts in HubSpot from the currently open email. Click on once. Okay, and that contact was added. The second automation type is exporting data from HubSpot. It could be contacts, tickets, pretty much any information. The best part, it takes one click. Here I have Bardeen open and we have copy all HubSpot tickets to Google Sheet. Here's another cool thing. You can use this other action, create Google Sheet with a name, let's call it HubSpot tickets. Hit enter and the new spreadsheet with all of the data was created. I can click on view. And here I have all of my tickets, including the last two ones that you saw me add. Obviously the similar principle applies to contacts. Let's create uh, a new contacts list. Hit return. And it's super quick. It takes around five seconds to build. Flip and view. And bam, there we have our data. And speaking of exporting data, I had a secret automation running this entire time in the background. So when a new HubSpot contact was created, there will be a new spreadsheet row added to this specific sheet. Let's go ahead and try it out. Let's open up Bardeen. Here we have the auto books tab and the automation is called when the HubSpot contact is created and a spreadsheet row. You can click on that icon over there to see all of the new spreadsheet rows edit. Last one is from Lifestyle Engineering, works great. So you can export all of your contacts from HubSpot and then enable this automation so that new contacts get added to that spreadsheet so you do not miss out and you don't have to export the information multiple times. The third automation type is to be able to create information in HubSpot, but starting from other apps. Here I have a spreadsheet and I want to create an automation that creates new HubSpot tickets when I add a new spreadsheet row. Let's go ahead and do exactly this. We have the subject line, we have the ticket content, priority, stage, pipeline, link, etc. So I have this spreadsheet already there. It's an empty spreadsheet. And I'm going to show you a little bit under the hood on how to build Bardeen automations. First, you need to click on create a playbook or auto book. Auto books are the ones that run in the background automatically. And then we need to add our first action. It's going to be a trigger action. Here I have Google Sheets. If you don't have Google Sheets or any other apps enabled, click on this plus icon, click on all and pick one of your favorite apps. All right, let's scroll down. And here I have the trigger. When row is added to Google Sheet, I'm going to pick the Google Sheet call all HubSpot tickets. There we have our spreadsheet. Uh, just like this. So one row is added. I want to click on the plus icon, find HubSpot here in the list. And I want to create a new ticket. There we have it with a subject line. And then we need to click on that first trigger action. I'm going to click on data. If you click on sheet, you have the information about the spreadsheet, such as the URL to this Google sheet. And instead, I want to click on data. And that's the data inside that spreadsheet row. Um, for subject and one subject. Let's pick support pipeline here. And since we're creating new tickets, the status in HubSpot should also be called new. Then we need to fill out the contents of the ticket. So let's pick it from the spreadsheet, scroll down and click on ticket content. I'm going to skip ticket priority, click on done, save this playbook. Let's give it a name, create HubSpot ticket from sheets. enable the playbook and let's go back to our spreadsheet to test out the automation. Let's create a ticket by typing something in this subject line, then add some ticket content as a dummy. We can then open up Bardeen, click on activity and wait for 30 seconds until this automation is triggered. There we have our results block. Let's click on see more and view the ticket. And this is how you can create HubSpot tickets directly from Google Sheets. So you can work in one app and get that data added automatically to HubSpot. And the best part is that it works with your favorite apps.
Airtable, HubSpot, Coda, you name it. And finally, use case number four is creating those custom automations, but not as HubSpot workflows. We can use Bardeen to do things such as forwarding this email to create a ticket automatically. This way you can use your phone to do things on the fly and you no longer need to switch between tabs and copy paste information. Let's try out this exact use case. I'm going to open Bardeen and here we have the Autobooks tab and the automation is called when email is forwarded, create a HubSpot ticket. I'm going to click on it and here we're going to have a trigger keyword. So if, for example, my email is john at gmail.com, I can add this plus and the keyword variable in order to trigger this automation. So let's try out something like HubSpot. This is going to be our tree trigger keyword. I'm going to add a pipeline over here. Support pipeline, click on save and activate this automation. And here, as you can see, I have Renat plus HubSpot at Bardeen.ai because this is the email that I have integrated. I'm going to copy this email. Let's close Bardeen and let's forward this email to this address that was generated just like this. Click on send. Now I'm going to open Bardeen with a shortcut, option B. If I click here on show activity, I'll see all of the invocations of this action. Okay, and it was just triggered as you saw, it appeared over here. Now let's open tickets in HubSpot and there is our ticket with the title of that email. And here inside I have the ticket description with the email. There's another really cool way for you to trigger automations. So instead of opening Bardeen with a shortcut, you can run an automation with right click. So you can right click, for example, here from this Gmail thread, hover over Bardeen, and then you have save contact to HubSpot. And just like this, the contact was added automatically to HubSpot. So pretty much any automation that you saw in this video, you can turn into a right click automation. Let's open up Bardeen. I'm going to show you how to do exactly this. Let's look on open in the builder. And the first trigger action that we need to put in here is called when I right click on the website, you can click on this card and here you can give your automation name, save contact to HubSpot. So when I right click anywhere, uh, the name is over here and it's going to be visible anywhere on the page. You can also make it visible only on selected text, only on links, etc. So for me, I want to have it visible anywhere on the website. And again, Bardeen is a full on automation engine, so you can make very complex workflows. For example, so far we've added a contact to HubSpot, but what if I want to get a message sent, say to Slack when there is a new HubSpot uh, contact created with the right click. You can do exactly this. Let's scroll all the way to the right, add a new action, select Slack over here, pick send Slack message action. And for the Slack message, I want to find that create contact action from over here. And instead of picking a specific field, I am going to pick all fields over here i'm going to send it to myself so let me type in my own name just like this click on done and click on done again very important enable your automation and let's find another email the recipients of which we want to add to hubspot here i have an email from a fellow youtuber friend i'm going to right click on it hover over the save context to hubspot now let's open all contacts in HubSpot. And now let's open up Slack. And here I have the automated message from Bardeen. And this is it. We've explored four different ways you can streamline your HubSpot workflows to regain your time. But the best part is that links to all of the workflows that you've seen so far in this video are linked in the description. So make sure to go out there and try them out. And if you have any cool workflows that you think we should build, make sure to share them in the description of this video or in our user community. The link to it also in the description. I'll see you there. Cheers.